Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sign rule. I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to do it. So just a reminder of the sign rule before we start. So if we have a triangle with sides, uh, small a, b and c, and angles big a, b and c, then the side a divided by the sine of the angle a is equal to the side b divided by the sine of the angle b, and it's also equal to the side c divided by the angle C. And you can also invert each of these fractions as well to put the sine of A over the side A, the sine of B over the length of the side B, and the sine of C over the length of the side C. So when we're using the sine rule, we'll only ever use two of these. So for example, we would use two sides and two angles. And if you know any three of these, you can find the fourth one. And you can do them in any order at all, <clears throat> so long as you have an angle and a side opposite, and then an angle and a side opposite. If you're missing one of them, you can, you can use the sine rule to find out what it is. So the two examples I'm going to show you today. First one. <clears throat> the first one is finding an unknown side when we're given two angles and one side. The second is finding an unknown angle when we're given two sides and an angle. Okay, so we'll start with this one here. I have the side x is opposite 52 degrees. I have the side 3.2 is opposite 38 degrees. So we're going to use this form here. I always like to put my unknown on the top on the left. So I'm going to put x over the sine of 52 is equal to 3.2 over the sine of 38. Now a lot of people go and get their calculator out straight away and start calculating these uh, signs right now. But there's no point in doing that just yet. I'm going to use a little bit of algebra first to isolate x. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by sine 52. That will give me x is equal to 3.2 sine 52 degrees divided by sine 38 degrees. And now I can put that there straight into the calculator. So when you put that into your calculator, you get x is equal to 4.1. That's correct to one decimal place. Now, try yourself, put that into your calculator, see if you get 4.1. If you're not getting 4.1, then you're just putting something into the calculator wrong. Make sure it's in degrees mode. Uh, that's usually the most common mistake for this. Okay, in the second example, we're asked to find the measure of the acute angle X. Now, this is important that it's the acute angle x because when we use the sine rule you can often get two answers for your for the same question so that's called the ambiguous case and if you click this link here that'll bring you to a video showing you the ambiguous case this case is not a bit ambiguous because we're asked for the acute angle so I'm going to again put my unknown on the top left. So I'm going to use this form here and say the sine of x. The sine of x over 12 is equal to the sine of 20 over 5. Okay, I'm going to work to isolate x before I do anything on the calculator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. Sine x is equal to 12 sine 20 degrees over 5. And if I want to find x, I need to get the sine inverse of 12 sine 20 over 5. That will give me x. So if you type that into your calculator there, you should get 55 Point one seven degrees. Give that a go and see if that's what you get. 
Um, if it isn't what you get, then just double check that you're in degrees mode and just double check that um, you have it typed in correctly and you should get 55.17 degrees. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. If you want to go and have a look at the sign rule with an ambiguous case, then just click here and that'll take you to a video on that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.